Hello, my name is Camille. I'll be showcasing the scheduler block today. Scheduler is a custom block for Airtable that allows people to select one or more records in a grid view and then reserve those particular records for a given time period without creating any double bookings. So in this case, I have a table full of rooms. These might be conference rooms or hotel rooms, but this is just as useful for reserving library books, IT equipment, anything that has to be rented out, or for anyone who has a series of appointments they need to keep, uh, but they can't be in two rooms at once. I also have a table full of reservations where a particular room is reserved from a start date to an end date. Within the block window, it will let you know exactly what view in what table you have to be on to make your selections. In this case, I need to be in the reservable view in the rooms table, and that's all set up in my settings. Everything looks good here, so I'll click done, and I'll select my first room. In the block window, a calendar has appeared with all of the existing reservations for room A. I can select dates 10 through 11, but I can't select the 12th because there's an existing reservation. And if I wanted any more detail about any of these reservations, I could click one and it will open up the expand record modal. So I could go through and change the dates if I wanted. But let's say I do really want the 10th through 11th. The action button at the bottom becomes clickable. Schedule this record. If I had more than one selected and selected some new dates or selected the same dates again, the button text will actually update to reflect that the number of records is now plural and it will let you know how many have been selected. If no dates are selected, it will say that. And if you don't have permission to create a new record in the reservations table, the button will never be clickable, but it will allow people to still see all of the reservations as they add and subtract uh, selected records, and they'll be able to still open up the modals if they want. But I have permissions for this base, so I'm going to click the 10th through the 11th to reserve room A and room B within the same reservation, and I'll click the button. So a new reservation has been added and you can see it very clearly on the calendar and the modal has come up um, after a new record is created, just in case you wanted to add any more detail. Um, in this example base, the name field is auto calculated, but if I wanted to go in and add a new customer, I could very easily. So if I close out of that and go back to my reservations table, you'll see that same, res re that same reservation is um, in the base, everything is working fine. Now, scheduler block works only when the start date and end date are of the same field type. The only two acceptable field types are date and date time. Right now, both start date and end date are of a, the date type. But if I changed one to include a time component, the block will automatically detect this and stop it from running any further, letting you know exactly what needs to change. Um, either end date needs to turn into a date time or start date needs to go back to a regular date. Um, I'm going to change end date to include a time component so we can see how the block runs a little bit differently uh, with a time component enabled. This time I'll select room C. If I go into a week view, you'll see that the interface is a little bit different and I can select half hour, uh, half hour time slots to reserve a particular record or records. So now that that's done, same as before, the record modal pops up, I can close out and within the same day, I can go forward and um, begin to schedule multiple reservations in the same day. Uh, but I still can't select over an existing reservation. So that's the ins and outs of the scheduler block. Um, it is available on GitHub. And I hope this is useful for anyone who ever needed to look at a calendar but never wanted things to overlap. Um, thanks for watching.